This is a tic-tac-toe AI I've been building over the past few weeks. I had some of my friends play it. It won once and there was also a draw. <laughs> AI, man. Okay, I want to play it next. It works using two types of neural networks. A convolutional neural network senses the bored state from a webcam image. Then a fully connected neural network predicts the value of a bored state in terms of x winning. I wanted a physical aspect to the project, so I dusted off an Arduino, of course. All the parts started off as cardboard for prototyping, then wood, and I went through a bunch of different designs. The first ones were really fast, but also kind of bouncy. And I was worried that it wasn't going to draw cleanly enough for the ConvNet to pick up the state of the game. So, inspired by my new 3D printer and all the great CNC videos on YouTube, I changed up the design a bit to be much more precise, but also excruciatingly slow. It's a bit wobbly, but it gets the job done. Two modified SG90 servos turn threaded rods to move the pen left and right and up and down and another servo just lifts the pen in the z-axis up and down to draw or not draw. To locate the pen, I do some pattern matching in CV2, this computer vision library for Python. When you start a new game, the AI will draw an empty board for you, sense the state of the game, and make its move and then get out of the way. The ConvNet then senses the state of the game repeatedly and waits for you to make your move. It knows you've made your move if the number of X's and O's are equal. After you move, a loop will play an X in each empty spot and feed that new potential state into the fully connected net, which spits back the value for that state. The script will then choose whichever move leads to the highest valued state. So it's picking the best state for x. To play the move, the computer then sends commands out to the Arduino, which moves the pen to the right spot and draws an x in the right square. Then you just repeat this process until there's a winner or the board fills up. The AI doesn't actually know if it's won or not, and it will keep playing out a game even if it's won or you've won. It should be impossible to beat, because it's going first, but with perfect play, you can always force a draw, I think. We'll use this project as a kickoff point for future videos, where we break down how I created and trained the fully connected net and the convolutional neural net. Thank you for watching.